today we're going to tackle some questions on the effect on volume if you manipulate another variable in the ideal gas law. So to begin, our temperature, 250, is going to become 500 Celsius. Temperature is not being doubled here because you always have to look at kelvins. So likewise for this example, it's not this weird factor by one point sorry, by 137, but if you convert to kelvins, you see that in this example, temperature is actually being halved according to our kelvins, and here, temperature is being, it is not being doubled, it is being multiplied by 1.48. So now, what is the effect on volume if we multiply it by these two factors? Well, temperature and volume are directly proportional. So if you multiply temperature by 1.48, you're also gonna multiply your volume by 1.48, so your volume is gonna increase by that factor. And if you have your temperature, you're also gonna half your volume, so volume decreases by a factor of two. So the biggest takeaway here is remember to convert temperature into kelvins. Second example, there are two things going on. Pressure is being halved, and temperature in kelvins is being doubled. So, pressure is inversely proportional to volume. And as we've already looked at, volume is directly proportional to temperature. So we know, obviously, by multiplying temperature by 2, your volume will increase by 2, by a factor of 2. And as for the pressure and volume relationship, so the pressure and volume relationship, you see how we're having pressure. So that means we have to do the inverse to volume, which means if you have pressure, if you divide pressure by two, you're gonna multiply volume by two. So what it actually looks like in steps So if you have these two things going on, 2 times 2, that means your volume will be quadrupled. Okay. Now, our last example here, so you initially have one mole of gas, and then you add one more mole of gas. So in total, you have two moles. That means that's the equivalent of saying you just multiplied your moles by a factor of 2 and your pressure also doubled. So a uh, big note here, so if the question says you added four moles of gas, you have to be careful, that might mean you end up having five moles of gas because of the initial gas that is already there. So be careful of your total number of gas. So your total number of gas is not always the amount that you add, it's the amount of gas in total that you add and the amount of gas that was already there initially. Okay, so our moles and our volume is directly proportional, and our pressure is inversely proportional to volume. If you double your number of moles, you're going to end up doubling your volume. And if you double your pressure, that means if you multiply pressure by 2, you're going to do the inverse to volume. That means you're going to divide volume by 2. So to put it simply, and if you divide volume by 2 and then multiply volume by 2, what you will have is your net volume is no change. No change in net volume.